Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nine Inning Know It All podcast. I'm your host, Josh, and it is opening day for Major League Baseball. This is exciting. I am I am more excited this year than I have been in the last few years. I um, don't know why. Uh, I guess maybe because everything going on last season, getting to play, this this feels more normal. So I'm excited for that. Guys, before we jump into that, I do want to say thank you to the sponsors I have. Even though this isn't the Northwest Baseball Report podcast, the sponsors that I have for Northwest Baseball Report actually make this show happen as well because their support helps cover the su- subscription costs for everything. So it's nice. Um, I appreciate them. So it's Portland Baseball Club. Uh, if you live in the Northwest and you're looking for uh, a team for summer, fall, place to do training during the winter, and you're in the Portland area, check it out, Portland Baseball Club. I'll put the link down in the description below. Uh, also, Rep the Pacific Northwest or Rep the PNW. Uh, they have an awesome hat design. It's Washington, Oregon, and Idaho st- stitched together with baseball stitching. I have one of the hats, and I'm telling you guys, if you're a baseball fan here in the Northwest, it is a, it's, it's a must. It's a must-have. It's an awesome hat, and I love it. But guys, I also want to tell you a little bit about Patreon. You know, I, I've had Patreon in the past and had to kind of adjust it just because it didn't fit what was happening. Um, I have one. It's, it's patreon.com slash Northwest Baseball Report. I'll put the link down below as well. And that one's just for individuals who want to keep supporting what I'm doing, whether it's $1, $2, $3, 5 what, whatever you can a month. That helps me out to get to games because – a lot of times I'll go cover games and not make a penny off it. You know, no one's hired me to go there. No one's brought me out there. No one's buying photos. And, you know, I want to keep going to games, but it's tough when you know that you're not going to be making any money. And in order to keep things going, I've got to make some kind of money to help pay for everything. So if you're interested in becoming a supporter, one's going to have the link down below. It's Patreon. It's a monthly thing. One's going to, even if it's just a dollar a month, I mean, that's a, that's a candy bar. If you're going to afford one less candy bar a month, which, you know, that's tough for me because I love my candy bars, then please do so, you know, $3 a month, whatever. It helps out. It gets things going. It gets me to more places and even further distances than I normally would. Um, I'm excited because i got some baseball games I'm going to be covering the next week or so, and it just it feels good. But, guys, let's jump into this. It is, once again, opening day, and I want to give you guys my predictions for the 2021 season. I'm a little hyped right now. My wife went and got me a hot chocolate and banana bread, which is – one of my favorite breakfasts, so I'm I'm in good spirits right now. Good spirits moving forward. But guys, let's start with the AL East. Let's start with the AL East because I think that is um, probably one of the tougher divisions for me to pick. Uh, there really isn't a clear cut, definite number one favorite that I that I have in my head. You know, Tampa Bay obviously made the World Series last year. They looked really good. Um, they have lost some players though, so. They're up there. New York is always a contender. Toronto is actually an up-and-coming team that I think, I don't know, I think they might be stronger this year than they were even last year. Uh, Baltimore, I don't think, is in it. Boston, I don't think, is in it. So right now, my pick to win the AL East, I'm going to go with Toronto. And I'm not, that isn't my locked-in set definite pick. I think Tampa Bay's got an argument. I think New York would probably be my second pick to win the division, but I'm going to go with Toronto. I'm going to be a surprise team this year. I think they're going to play well. They got some young players. They got some pitching. I think they could do something. They can make some noise, make a splash, and I'll go with Toronto. On to the AL Central, and this one, I didn't have to look at anything. I just automatically knew who my pick was. My pick this year for the AL Central, it's the White Sox. I think that they are ready to take another step forward. Um, They did have some injuries already in spring training. They're going to hurt them this year. But I think their overall depth and some of the minor league players they have that are coming up, they're going to be deep enough. They're going to be strong enough. I think they they win the Central, especially a Central. Let's be honest. It's not very strong. Detroit, Kansas City, not going to be great this year. They'll be okay, but they're going to have a losing record. Cleveland, I think, is going to have a losing record. Uh, They still got some great players in Cleveland. but. They've also are missing some players. Uh, Lost Lindor, that does hurt. Um, Minnesota is going to be solid this year. I I have Minnesota coming in second. Um, And once again, just like the the East, I think that they could win the division. I think Minnesota could do it. But I got the White Sox as my favorite. 
Minnesota coming in second. Cleveland probably third because they still have some, some talent there. Kansas City and Detroit down at the bottom like they were last year. The AL West. Now this one, man, this, this one is, is not really that difficult in terms of who I think is going to win. It's second and third place. It's kind of up in the air for me. I have Oakland winning this division. I, th- I have Oakland winning it by probably 10 games. I think they're that much better than the other teams in the division. Um, I think Houston has gotten worse, um, which is fine by me. Uh, Seattle's actually gotten better. I think if if their young talent can kind of keep improving like I think they will, they're going to be solid. Their pitching staff, the bullpen's not great. The starters could be really solid, good. I don't, not great. Uh, Marco Gonzalez is going to be an okay first start, you know, He's not really an ace. Um, he'd be a great number two, number three somewhere. Paxton can be a number one if he's healthy. Uh, we've seen that before. So they got some good pitching. So I actually have Seattle coming in third uh, with Anaheim actually jumping them in the standings to second place. I think Anaheim, it, it's now or never. Either they do it this year or they're not going to do it. It's it's that simple. So I got Oakland. I got L.A., uh, Los Angeles, Anaheim, whatever. The Angels in second, Seattle, um, Houston, actually, I'm going to drop them to fourth and Texas fifth. That might even be a change at the bottom as well. I might see them flip, but that's what I'm looking for in the American League right now. Once again, that's uh, Toronto winning the East with the Yankees right there with them. I've got the White Sox winning the Central with Minnesota right there with them and the A's running away with the West. Let's jump to the National League, guys, with my picks. And first of all, the NL East. This was a no-brainer. It's Atlanta. Atlanta is easily the best team. Now, is Miami solid? Yes, they are. They're young. They're good. They're going to get better. I like what Miami has, but they're not at the same level as the Braves. Not yet. Philadelphia, they've got talent, obviously. I could see them competing, but not for the first spot. The Mets, the Mets have gotten better. The Mets have definitely gotten better this offseason, but... I don't think they're as good as Atlanta at this point. Um, I think the Mets, pretty fair shot to take second. Maybe even give a little run for, to the first for Atlanta for a little bit of the year, but Atlanta wins this one. Mets come in second. Uh, Miami, I'm going to put them at third. Philadelphia in at four, and Washington's going to be at five. And not that Washington's a horrible team. They've got talent. Uh, just that the rest of the teams in this division are actually probably – just uh, just a step above them. The Central, the NL Central, this is probably going to be, this is easily the hardest division for me to pick because I think all the teams stink. I mean, I think there's, there's no other way to put it. I think there's significant holes and gaps with every team in the Central. You know, Cincinnati has gotten worse. Let's just be honest. They lost pitching. They're not what they were last year. They're probably going to have a fire sale come come late June, early July. Don't be surprised if that happens. So I, I have Cincinnati dropping. Pittsburgh is atrocious. Um, maybe they'll get better this year, but they're not great. I actually have Milwaukee winning this division. I think Milwaukee kind of rebounds, plays better this year, gets in there for first place. Cubs and St. Louis are going to be fighting for second place. And even that, I think both those teams have just a lot of holes, a lot of gaps. You know, maybe they'll make a run. Maybe a team will get better or something like that. Some young players will step in. But, you know, it's, I think it's Milwaukee uh, first. I'll go Cubs second, St. Louis third, and then Cincinnati and Pittsburgh rounding out the bottom of the central. Now to the west where we have the defending champions, L.A. Dodgers, and they're still the best team in, in the National League. Probably they're still the best team in all of baseball right now. They really didn't lose a lot, uh, but they still have a lot of young players who are getting better. So in the end, the Dodgers got better. I mean, that that's the simple truth. The Dodgers got better, but San Diego also got better. And I'll be honest, when it comes looking at the playoffs for this season, the Dodgers are the favorite. I mean, just put it right there. And the only two teams in the National League that I think truly are competitors and threats to the Dodgers – Atlanta and San Diego. I think those two teams are really the only threats for uh, the Dodgers. The Dodgers, once again, they've got veteran leadership that, that is outstanding talent-wise, and they have a young talent group that is just off the charts good. 
they put together probably the best organization right now in baseball in terms of what they have top to bottom. I mean, just prospects, experience, the guys they've brought in, you know, and they're only going to get better in terms of their youth. So once again, Dodgers are going to win that NL West. San Diego is going to give them a run. Um, might even have, might even spend some time in first place this year. Um, but I think in the end, the Dodgers will pull it out, win the division. But like I said, when it comes to playoffs, uh, San Diego, San Diego is going to be a threat. Atlanta is going to be a threat for the Dodgers. Um, but I still got the Dodgers as my favorite. So rounding out the NL West, I got Colorado coming in third just because um, I think San Francisco is not really going to be a threat. I think last year, even going 29 and 31 in a shortened season was somewhat of a fluke for them. I don't think they really have the talent to be a 500 team right now. They have some minor leaguers, some prospects that can come up and, and maybe help them be a 500 team, but they're not really that good. I mean, let's just be honest. The Giants just aren't what they have been in the past. They're they're down. They need to rebuild. Arizona, I think they could be better than what they were last year, but not much. So I'm going to go Dodgers first, Padres second, Rockies third, although losing Arenado does significantly drop them. So really – Third, fourth, and fifth, Giants, Rockies, and Diamondbacks. You could toss them in a hat, draw them out, and be just as good as my guesses. So, yeah, you, you never know with that with that division. But definitely the top two teams are far and away the best two teams in that division. So, guys, once again, the East, I've got Atlanta winning the win the East. I've got the uh, Brewers winning the Central, Dodgers winning the West. It's going to be a fun year. I mean, let's be honest. It's going to be a fun year. Things are looking good so far. It's going to be competitive. It's going to be very competitive. And, you know, looking towards the playoffs, you know, I've said it before in, in the show already, the Dodgers are the best team in baseball right now, in my opinion. Um, whether you believe it or agree with it, you know, that's just my thoughts. I think they, they're they the deepest team. If someone gets hurt at the major league level, they've got guys at the triple A level that can step right in, um, top prospects that – really might even be better talent-wise than some of the guys they have up at the Major League roster right now. So um, pitching is extremely deep. They have tons of pitchers. Guys who could be starters or end up doing long relief because they just have too many starters. And, you know, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting. It's going to be a fun year, exciting. I'm just glad that baseball is back and up and running. Glad that college baseball is going. High school baseball in the area is up and running. Little leagues are going. It's just it's fun to see everything going. Um, so, guys, with that, those are my picks for the different divisions for this year. Let me know in the comments below somewhere, whether you're on uh, SoundCloud and you're listening there, leave a comment. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment there. If you're on the website, leave a comment there. Tell me who you think is going to win each of the different divisions. Tell me where I'm right. Tell me where I'm wrong. But, guys, with that, I am Josh, the 980 Know-It-All. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, go catch a baseball game. There is baseball being played everywhere. Talk to you guys later.